A single pod poi consists of a flow leash connected to a pod light. You will need to adjust and finish your flow leash for your individual body and style. However, you should never need to disassemble or really do anything except charge your pod light. The flow leash can be adjusted super easily, which you should do because this extra leash hanging off is not fun to spin with. Simply pull the leash excess to make it shorter, and pull the leash itself to make it longer. I like to adjust my leash so that when I'm holding my poi comfortably, it comes to about my shoulder. Ah, that's right on the spot. When you've got the exact length that you want, you're gonna to wanna to mark the spot where the extra leash comes off. Any pen or marker will do. Just made my little mark right there. Now I'm gonna pull some excess back out and I'm gonna cut and leave the mark visible. Like that. Now, don't mess with this because it'll get all frayed and crazy. Don't touch it, just cut it, and then you're gonna melt it. Now you don't wanna get it too hot. Don't light it on fire, because then the plastic will get all brittle. Just wanna hold the flame next to the knot. I'm not holding it underneath, I'm holding it next to it just kind of baking it into a nice disc of melted plastic right there. Like that, once it's hardened, is what finishes off my flow leash. All nice and slick. Once you've adjusted the length of your leash, there's really only two things you need to know. There's a button on the bottom, and there is a micro USB charging port inside one of these three seams. Simply push down on the top to expose the port, plug in your micro USB cable to any USB power, and it'll light up with a charge indicator to let you know how charged it is and uh, that it's charging. When it's done and ready to go, simply unplug and you're ready to go. The pod light has two main parts, the soft silicone pod and the light unit inside that we call the capsule. And there's two important things to note here. The pod can tear at the base of the seam if you pull too hard on the pedals. So be gentle with the base of the seam. Don't peel the pedals apart too much because you could tear it. The capsule connects inside the pod with this flange at the bottom created by what we call the C-ring. The C-ring, if it disconnects from the capsule inside, it's possible to do that by twisting it. If you twist the capsule inside the pod, it could disconnect the C-ring, and then that will prevent your button from reaching the bottom. So if you notice that your button is very hard to press, and you have to sink your finger in to press it, it's probably because the C-ring got disconnected somehow. And that's very important because the C-ring also creates this flange that holds it inside the pod. If that's not connected, it's possible for the pod to separate from the capsule and go flying because the capsule is connected to your leash. If you did take it apart, this is what you would find. At the tip of the pod is the tri-ring. This holds the three pedals together. Inside is the capsule. This is the light unit of the pod light capsule is held inside the pod by what we call the C-ring. And the easiest way to remove the capsule is to just grip the whole pod, wrap the leash around your hand, and pull. If the leash is not connected to the capsule for some reason, see this flange here with the C-ring, it's what's holding it in there. You can grip 
the capsule itself and one side, one of these pedals, just push right into the flat part of the pedal and kind of lever it out. So the C-ring holds the bottom of the capsule shut and at the top there is an O-ring that holds the top shut and the leash connects to the capsule with this washer that fits inside. And without the C-ring or the O-ring, you can see inside the capsule. This is all fragile in here, so don't, you know, go messing with it. So to assemble this, put the washer inside, snap it shut, the O-ring needs to be on your leash, so you can then stretch it over the end of the capsule. I just pressed the button with my hand there. And the C-ring snaps onto the bottom. And there's two little kind of shoulders on the capsule here. And those shoulders fit into these two shoulder grooves in the C-ring. You have to have that aligned right, and you should be able to just push it on like that. And assemble this into the pod, open it up. The pod has these beautiful little ribs down here. They're structural, absorb impact and add mass at the bottom. And this socket for the capsule. And you can just push, it kind of helps to start at an angle. Just shove this thing in here. One thing you want to check is that the USB jack is aligned with one of the seams. So as you're putting it in, it's a lot easier than trying to twist it once it's in there. Just align that USB jack right there. And then you're connected. Now the tri-ring sits on top, is assembled by sandwiching the leash between two of the pedals and pushing that through the tri-ring you want to align one tip of the tri-ring with one of the seams and then align those two pedals on the back side so that there's room for the third pedal to go inside the tri-ring. Pinch the third pedal between your fingers like this and push it up in there. It might take a little bit of force, but that should go right in. And then you have your full assembly. Replacing or altering your flow leash does not require complete disassembly of the pod light. You can leave the capsule in place and just remove the O-ring and spread the capsule apart far enough to release the washer. And pull the O-ring off of the washer and then the tri-ring will come off the leash. Now to attach the leash to the pod, First, you need to put on the tri-ring, then the O-ring. Then you can put the washer inside the capsule. Again, you don't have to remove the capsule. Just spread it open and grab the two seams with your fingers to prevent it from closing again. That should make it easy to place the washer inside. Close it up in the capsule and put that O-ring down, stretch it around into its groove, and then you're good to go. Pop the tri-ring back on to the pod, and your assembly is complete again. Complete Podpoi leash assembly should come with the washer attached to the end. We use a special hot air tool to melt the end of the cord past the washer and create a nice, thick, strong piece of plastic. 
However, it's possible to do this yourself with the help of a little crazy glue. First, to get the leash through the washer, melt the end just a little bit and then squeeze it with some pliers. This creates kind of a little stick of melted plastic, which you can then grip with the pliers and push into the washer and pull through from the other side. You can also kind of do this with your fingers. Now, cut off that piece of melted plastic so that you can make a nice fresh one. Don't touch this after you've cut it or it'll fray and get all crazy. Use the edge of the flame to heat the plastic. You're not trying to set the plastic on fire. You don't want to burn it or overheat it or it gets little bubbles inside and it gets brittle. You want a nice strong piece of plastic. You have to melt it gently. If you do a really good job, this alone could be enough to prevent the washer from pulling out under any reasonable circumstances. However, because this is so critical to your poi not going flying, I would highly recommend adding a little bit of cyanoacrylate or crazy glue, or super glue. It's all basically the same stuff. Something uh, thin, the really thickened stuff might not soak in as well. Basically what you do is go around the edge here and just put, you know, probably the equivalent of like 10 drops in around the edges. And this will fuse all the fibers behind that plastic disc and reinforce it. So now that washer isn't going anywhere.